Hey everyone, welcome to my very first YouTube video. If all goes according to plan, this will be the worst video on my channel. The lighting in my office is not very good, um, but this is a room tour video. I'm going to show you around my nerd cave, show you my collectibles, explain where I got them. In the beginning, I do a brief overview, which is just a minute or two long. And then I go into the detailed look, which is about an hour and a half long. I don't know the actual length, but I hope you stick around and check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or reach me on any of my social media platforms. You can always find me at Obey Your Claudia. So just a brief overview, this is my bookcase. I keep my statues, a lot of Funko Pop figures, and some other figures around. That's my record collection and my record player, my Alien Queen piece. My, this is my TV area. Um, I've got my two consoles, some more figures and statues, a lot of mystery minis. My art wall, this is where I have a lot of my original comic book art, uh, my art desk with some craft projects on there uh, that I hope to finish within the next couple weeks, and my desk area. Um, I've got the dual monitor set up, and these decals my husband had here before I even moved in. This used to be his guest bedroom, um, and then my sofa with all my pillows and Hello Kitties. So that was the brief overview. Now we're going to go to a more detailed look where I explain what I have and where I got it and kind of the whole method behind the madness. This is my Aspen corner. I have the trade paperbacks down below. Um, Aspen Comics is my favorite comic book company. Fathom's my favorite comic book. I read volume one countless times. My read copy is falling apart, but I waited about 10 years to get this Keani statue. They had a sale on the AspenStore.com and they had three available that they found in the warehouse. This was either earlier this year or late last year. Um, I got her finally at, for about a third of the price, which isn't a bad deal. She scares me a little bit because her foot and her calf muscle are the only things holding her into that acrylic base or resin base there. That's why I have all this other stuff kind of blocking the path for any cats who might feel like being cheeky. I've got two mini prints from the AspenStore.com. These were included. One was in a bundle, one was an incentive. Um, you spend a certain amount and then you would get a free mini print. So the Aspen lunchbox, the Fathom lunchbox, was found by my best friend Heather. She found it at a thrift store. And gave it to me, so that was a pretty good find. I've got these Top Cow Fathom trading cards. I got a new one in the Aspen bundle, uh, so I actually like it on display in the front because it kind of matches with the lunchbox with the surfing theme. I've got my Michael Turner button here. Um, that's probably going to go in my Ita bag. This is actually where I store all my pins and buttons. Um, I'll show you guys my Ita bag later. I'm going to put more stuff on it. Um, but that's where I store pretty much every button and pin and badge I've ever gotten. Uh, this is just a sticker that came with the bundle. Um, this was a gift from a friend a while back. I have the clear edition in my bedroom. This was done by Grace Crick. The painted version is really pretty. Um, she had some paint rub while in storage, but luckily you can't really see it. Um, it just came off on the styrofoam a little bit, but she is really pretty. My very first and only sideshow I have was actually a gift from my brother-in-law. It was a wedding present, and I love her costume. Her, she has a really pretty face. I'm really picky about statues' faces. If the faces don't look good, I don't want it. I'm super picky about that. I know it probably shouldn't be, but I am. I love the fact that the safe opens up. You can move around the gold. I, I kind of wish the gold was individual bricks. Um, cause then you could kind of stack them in there a little bit crazier, but they can come out. Um, you could put other stuff in there if you wanted. There's a signed photo of her, um, to Spider-Man, but I actually just keep that in the box cause I'm afraid one of the cats will make off with it. Um, I've got a Tron identity disc. My sister was nice enough when I was working Megacon for a friend. She went and had my identity disc signed by both Cindy Morgan and Bruce Boxleitner. And then I've got my Funko Mystery Mini there too. Uh, this is my very first Funko Pop that I purchased. My very first Funko Pop was actually a Boba Fett 
Funko Pop, which you'll see a little bit later. Um, but that was a gift. Uh, Garrus was the first one that I purchased, and that started my kind of Funko Pop obsession. I don't buy every single Funko Pop I see, but there are certain ones I see and I have to have. And he was the first one that did it for me. The Omni Blade was actually a gift from my husband and brother-in-law for my birthday last year. My only criticism of the replica is the fact that you have to manually pull out the blade. I wish that it had a trigger or latch or something that would flip it out kind of like you see in the game. Um, I actually liked Mass Effect Andromeda. I know that's a contentious statement, but I really did love it. Um, I did end up purchasing the Andromeda Loot Crate, which came with some pins. This challenge coin, which I will probably never carry around because it is massive. Um, also this patch, and then there were some other things. I pre-ordered Mass Effect Andromeda, and I did the Nomad pre-order. This is actually really cool. Um, the whole thing lights up, so you see you have your headlights. The display panel on the inside is really cool and detailed. You can see the individual little seats in there. And then you can also see the brake lights and boosters in the back. I was going to get the remote controlled version, but it was so much more expensive. And I knew I would only pay, play with it for about 10 minutes. And then it would sit on my shelf like this. So I went for the cheaper option. Uh, this is a GameStop exclusive Sarah Ryder Funko Pop. Um, got her my birthday weekend this past year down in Clearwater. Um, and then this is the N7 version of Sarah Ryder. This was a Best Buy exclusive. And funny thing about this, I bought one for my sister. And when I bought it from Best Buy, they had six. So it must have just been stocked. It's been about two months and there's still four there. So I think I'm the only person who has purchased them, which is funny. Um, this is a Volus. This actually came from the N7 loot crate. You know, he's a little biotic god. And, uh, he's stuffed. I would keep him on the couch, but he's small enough that I think one of the cats or dog, or the dog might run off with him, so I keep him up. And then I have my Ava Unit 2. I kind of want to put this somewhere else. I just don't want to take it out of the box. Uh, I've had her in, I call it her, in the box for about... 10 years or more so I kind of just want to keep her in the launch tube packaging I think she's really cool different features I'm still trying to decide if I want to go for the statues that are coming out there's an Ava unit one and there is an Ava unit two both have exclusives through sideshow but they are very expensive so that might have to wait so moving on I have oh this actually is a piece that my husband got me at Spooky Empire two years ago and it is a super detailed kind of anatomy look at the queen and the egg there and I just really like it and it's kind of a cool spot for it. I also have another Alien vs Predator playing pool which was a gift from one of my friends. I haven't framed it yet but that will probably go up above there. Um, my record player uh, this is an upgrade from another one that I had similar to this, but this one was a wedding gift. And it has Bluetooth, it has a cassette player, CD player, it plays the LPs perfectly. Um, I got my 45s, just a handful of 45s there, and then my record collection. A lot of classic rock. Um, I inherited a lot of these from my friend's late father, and so... I, there's Black Sabbath, there's Alice Cooper, there's some really great records in here. And uh, I, I just went through the trouble of categorizing them in Discogs and I re-sleeved all of them. So they're now in acid-free sleeves and hopefully they'll last even longer. I'm excited for that. This is my Thor shelf. Um, well, Beta Ray Bill shelf with Jane Foster Thor. Um... This was actually a action figure my husband had and he gave me um, just randomly. He They were going through stuff in the garage and he's like, oh, hey, look what I found. Beta Ray Bill is my favorite. And um, this was actually, you should not drink an internets because I got this on eBay. And when it showed up to my house, I had forgotten I had purchased it. But it went 
to a charitable organization um, auction. So I was happy that I bought it through there. And it, it wasn't very expensive either. Um, it is a Bowen, which I don't normally like Bowens, but they seem to do pretty good with the Beta Ray Bills. There's a standing one that I want to get, um, but I haven't found a good price on them yet. The Lady Thor was a gift from my husband. It was actually an apology gift. And that is because after I had buzz cut my hair, he came up to me and tried to bite me on the head. But instead of biting me on the head, he just slobbered all over me. And it was disgusting. And so as an apology, he got me the Jane Foster Thor. Um, moving on. I have my little, this is more of a Marvel shelf here. Um, I got my Deadpool Funko Pop. I also have the Unmasked, Unmasked exclusive version of him. This was a little mystery mini. Um, this Q-Fig. I can't remember. I think he came in a loot crate. No, I can't remember. I can't remember where I got him. Um, obviously Vision had to get him. He was super cute. I like the the kind of like maroon color he is and he's a bobble these came from the ant-man uh, marvel collector core box um agent colson had to get him i got my little hydra pin here my hulk q fig uh also the hulk buster this is actually the reason i started on the marvel collector core is because i knew that the hulk buster funko pop was coming and so I needed it and I ended up canceling because of issues but what can you do I also have baby Groot little Funko Pop he's also a bobble and then my friend Heather Powell got me this little tiny baby Groot super cute she has one with um, a different theme and he's got a little ladybug moving on this is kind of my anime shelf. I have other anime things elsewhere. Um, I got all four Cowboy Bebop Funko Pops for a really good price at uh, Toys R Us. They were on sale. The Spike Spiegel bust I actually got when I worked at the Hobby Spot, now called Hudson Comics. Um, he had a broken finger, but Bob fixed him for me. And I got a really good price on him too. He's pretty expensive if you try to find him now, but he is available online. If you look on eBay. Um, this is my Trigun. Kuro Neko Sama bobblehead. I've had him. Since. It was either high school or college. But I mean it's been about 13 years. That I've had him. Um, my husband got me. The Scouter. I think it's off right now. Um, the Dragon Ball Z Scouter. Uh, this is Frieza's. The red. And then uh, this actually came from a Loot Crate little Dragon Ball. And it was the four-star Dragon Ball, which four is my favorite number. My husband also got me the Sailor Jupiter Funko Pop. And uh, I have been thinking about getting the other girls, but I need another shelf before I do that. Because I just don't have the room right now. Uh, this Piccolo I've had since college, I think. And this lunch figure, or launch, whichever you want to call her. I actually found at MegaCon this past year. I wanted a sexy anime girl and I found her for about $50 cheaper than she's available for online. And then once I got her and realized that she kind of fits with Piccolo, I totally shipped them. So they will live together from here on out. Let's see. Again, these are my Fathom trade paperbacks and my other Aspen series. Um, I have some more that I need to get. Uh, some of my trade paperbacks are signed, some aren't. I just got this Sarah. She was $10 on Amazon with Prime. Uh, so, free shipping. I think someone made a mistake. I wasn't going to question it, though, because she's usually about $50. But yeah, I got her for 10 bucks in two days. And I had one before that I had given my sister, and it got broken. Some of the little spines got broken off of her shoulders. So this is a brand new one and it actually ended up being a lower edition number, which is cool. I got a little geode here. Some loot crates. I got Terminator exoskeleton or endoskeleton skull. And then I have this little T2 wall tin, which I haven't decided what to do with. And this Galaxy Quest little patch, which I have a ton of patches. I'm thinking about making like one of those 
punk uh, vests or even just a, a jacket and putting all my patches on. I have all of these Bob's Burgers were gifts from my husband and brother-in-law collectively. Um, I think I bought Beef Squatch though. I think Beef Squatch was one that I purchased. And I know um, Butt Loose Tina I also purchased. And then this guy was a gift from my friend Mike. Uh, Martian Manhunter is my favorite DC character. I have a thing for green men. Piccolo, Kit Fisto, Martian Manhunter. I don't know why. I love alien men. It's just what I do. I think that was another one from Mike. Um, DC Direct. I believe it was a DC Direct. But yeah, I need more Martian Manhunter stuff, actually. Because um, he is my favorite DC character. And no, I have not watched Supergirl, so I've only seen pictures, so I don't really know how that whole thing goes. But um, I will watch it eventually. I would like to see him done properly, because he is a really cool character. Moving on. So I've got a couple of Funko Pops here. I actually got the Armored Titan at a comic shop the other day. And I got this. She was pre-owned, so she was pretty uh, Hanji Zo. She was pretty inexpensive. Um, I got her at Anime Orlando. Sometimes they do have pre-owned figures, so you can get a pretty good price on her, on her, the figures. But uh, I just love the fact that she's kind of in her wahoo pose. And um, I'm eventually wanting to put her kind of on a platform to raise her above these guys because they block her a little bit. Um, Annie, actually my husband got her for me um, because I saw her and I was kind of debating between the armored and Annie and I was, I finally had to go with the armored because of who he is and that's my favorite character until you find out he's the armored titan. Either way. So he got me the female titan which is awesome. The only thing good about the uh, Ghost in the Shell remake were the robot geishas. The practical, practical effects were amazing. So I got her as a little Funko Pop. I believe she was on sale when I got her too. Um, I like the little details on her kimono and her little hair accessory. And you can see the lines where her face opens up. Uh, Street Fighter Ryu headband. Uh, this is from a loot crate also. Um, haven't decided what I'm doing with it yet. So it just kind of lives here for the moment. And then this little Blue Ridge Georgia Mercer, uh, Mercher Orchard, oh, Mercher Orchards. Um, this is actually, or it's Mercier Orchards. Mercier? Mercier? I don't know. Um, this actually lives here because it's right next to, this whole unit is next to my sofa. Um, where me and my husband play video games. And it is a coaster. And so one of us will have our drink here and the other one will have it over on my computer desk. Moving on, some more pops for you guys. Uh, I've got my Chun-Li pop. This was a gift from my brother-in-law. I've got the Hot Topic exclusive Mabel Corn Mabel. Um, I love Gravity Falls. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. It's, I think it's 24 episodes, but there's, it's a short series and when it ends, it ends you know, you don't have to worry about catching up on 200 episodes, but it's a really cute series. A lot of supernatural stuff um, happens, and I love it. I've got my little Tomb Raider Funko Pop. My sister got me this, is it rock candy or candy rock um, figure? She is super cute. I'm not a huge fan of that line. But this is a cute one, and then they just announced the Furioso, which looks amazing. I also have the Play Arts uh, Lara Croft from the reboot. Uh, this actually I got when I worked at the Hobby Spot, now called Hubs Hudson's Comics. Because um, I didn't get the special edition when it first came out. Um, but someone brought this in, and I had to have it. And she's actually pretty cool. She has a lot of uh, accessories and everything. Um, she's very articulated though, so super hard to stand up. That is why she's leaning against the art books here. Just a few things. I've got this Funko Mystery Mini Alien. Uh, my Alien Eggs. I got the Aliens Loot Crate uh, when it came out. And so these little Alien Eggs are actually pretty cute. They've got 
the little babies and then the eggs themselves, little face huggers. Um, I kind of wanted to put these on display, but I kind of like them in their little egg carton too. So they're probably just going to live there from now on. Uh, this little wax Sears tower, which I guess it's Willis Tower now or something. Yeah, Willis Tower. Uh, my friend Sam got me. She lives up in Chicago. And I got this little Godzilla Funko Mystery minifigure. And so I put him with that because, you know, raisins. These are where I keep my exclusive pops for the time being until I get a shelf built. Um, I kind of want to line up all the exclusive pops. So I have Ant-Man from Collector Core, which has a little baby Ant-Man in it. Um, I also have it, Aries, actually, I found at Toys R Us. He was 10 bucks. He actually sells for more than that online, so I'm going to hang on to him. I actually like the Wonder Woman movie. Aries was probably my least favorite part about it, but he does make a cool-looking Funko Pop. Um, I found Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, at Walgreens. Uh, they only had one of her left, so I picked her up. And then I also have this PX Previews exclusive Deathstroke. And then I also have, as I mentioned earlier, this maskless Deadpool. And that's also a PX Previews exclusive. Um, the Ultimate Warrior is not an exclusive, but because I don't know where I want to put him yet, he is living over here. Um, next thing is... This, these are all like little, I have both Japanese and Chinese little antiques. I think this one is Japan. Yeah, this one is from Japan. Um, I can't remember where I got a lot of these. I would find some in uh, antique stores in my hometown of Blanchester, Ohio. Um, and then some were gifts from people. Uh, these are actually Saudi Arabian coffee cups, they're, but they're made in Korea. Um, my uncle brought these back from Saudi Arabia, so they just kind of live with my other little antiques. And then I actually have a school idol project, Love Live Hayano? Am I saying that? Hanayo. Hanayo figure. Um, I got her out of a mystery box at Anime Orlando, and she is super cute. And I started watching the show, and actually she is my favorite character, so I was super lucky about that. Back over here, I've got... A couple of things. This is actually a stone from a flame trench from the shuttle program. Um, my husband works at Kennedy Space Center and someone was moving offices and they had another one at their house. So they asked if anybody wanted it and my husband knows me and so he was like, uh, I'm going to take that home. And so I love it. Um, behind that, that's actually a photo I need to get framed of me and an astronaut. Uh, my friend Donnie actually made this in college. This ceramic piece here. He did a really cool detailed job of that. Optimus Prime just fell over. Um, he needs to find a new place to live because he falls over a lot. This Sailor Moon tin at, was either a gift from my mom or my sister. I cannot remember. But it's actually a little coin bank, at, but I keep my playing cards in here. And then this is also another gift from my friend Samantha. A little rubber ducky Chicago rocking out with the blues. And then I have my other corner um, with just some knickknacks. I got a piggy bank. This is an antique fish little container. Um, my mom's friend Ruth had epic yard sales. And so this came from there. I don't know anything about it. There's no identifiable markings. Um, I just love it. And I usually kept jewelry and stuff in there. But right now it lives there. Um, this was when I graduated high school. And then... This was something my mom actually painted back in 1973. I don't know if she knows that I have it, but I do. And that's where it is there. Okay. Moving on. I just have storage and stuff of extra little things down here. Um, I am going to go to Ikea and get those pull-out drawers. So then that way it can be a more cohesive space. Because um, I just don't like the clutter. I mean... Obviously, super cluttered, but I don't like having just the things here. Oh, this is, um, I'm having a hard time with this because I want to display her. I want to take her out of the box, but I don't want to take her out of the box. I'm a weirdo. This was actually a, friend, a gift from my friend Mike. 
Um, she's living down here right now until I ultimately decide if she's going to stay in the box or not. Um, I, I have seen people put, I'm sorry, that's not very attractive. Um, I have seen people put their action figures on walls. I just don't want to do that. It's not something I, I don't like the aesthetics of it and, it, and it's not, you know, I, when people do it and they do it well, it looks awesome. But for me personally, I have so much art. I don't want to go about hanging action figures. Um, oh, these stone, um, book ends. I actually have two of them doing two different jobs. There are actually fossils that have been carved out and I got these at the dinosaur store in Cocoa Beach and I definitely recommend checking out that out. They have a million awesome things. So moving on to the next portion of my office slash nerd cave. This is a David Bowie piece I did for Falcon Bar um, in Thornton Park right outside of downtown Orlando. They did a tribute show and I actually qualified for it so I threw this piece together. I actually really like it. I'm a big fan of Nebulas and uh, Galaxies and David Bowie. So I really like the way this turned out and it looks great above my TV. This is a little, I think this is a spray paint piece. This is done by an artist named Chris Brown. Uh, I got it at BART, which is bar art kind of smushed together. They have some video games in there also. Um, that is a bar on Mills Avenue towards downtown Orlando. Um, definitely check them out sometimes. My refurbished TV that I really, really like. My husband got me. Um, so I had a place to play my Xbox. The thing I like about it is the fact that you can set up all your apps. What I don't like about it is that the tiles you can't rename. So Xbox is actually my Xbox 360 and game console is my Xbox One S. I really wish you could customize the names of those. I think it would be much better. Um, there are some dedicated buttons on the remote. I like the, I, I don't use the radio button ever, but the Voodoo, Amazon, and Netflix button is nice because it just launches the stuff right away. Um, of course I say that and then it doesn't work. Oh, there it goes. So yeah, you can hit the button and it launches it right away, which is a lot of fun. Um, I am going to turn this off so I can look at the figures because um, the brightness of the TV kind of screws with that. I will be the first to admit I did not really like the Ghostbusters relaunch. Um, I feel like they had potential. Like the beginning of the movie wasn't so bad, but then the end came and they're like, all of the ghosts, all of the money, all of the CGI, and it just really was not good but Jillian Holtzman was my favorite part about it this was a gift from my friend Heather Powell um Holtzman I absolutely love I would deal with the sequel just for Holtzman honestly um I also have Slimer OG style um I've had him for three years I think um I will be taking these out of the box I just need another shelf to put them on I also have the toasted Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. He's not like the burnt version that's red. He's got a little bit of toasting on his head and on his nose, um, but he's super angry and cute. I've got a lot of little collectibles along in front of my TV. Luckily, they're short enough. They don't really bother um, when you're looking at the TV. Um, McDonald's toy. This was actually a cute little tin with little sour treats in it. Um, I got this at... I think it's called Saffron on Park Avenue. Sassafras. Maybe. I don't know. There's a candy shop on Park Avenue. It's not the one. It's not the one that's right when you turn on Park Avenue. It's a little further down. But they had this cute little arcade cabinet candy tin. And I had to have it. Um, these were also toys. Uh, I actually got these during my bachelorette party. Um, they came with little houses. But those are kind of hard to display. But I, at 3 o'clock in the morning, desperately wanted McDonald's and a Happy Meal. And my other friend got a Happy Meal and gave me their little figure. So I got Pomper in and Hello Kitty. This was a gift from my husband back when he wasn't my husband. It is a speaker that you can plug into your phone or iPod or whatever. And when it's playing music, she will dance back and forth. 
I don't really use it very much because the sound quality isn't great, but she just looks so cute on top of her amp that I definitely keep her around. I just realized this figure is backwards. Um, I've got a lot of little tiny things. This was a gift from my mom, this little Christmas bobblehead. Um, I also have this little Bruce Lee bear that I got at Pop Gallery when I worked there. This is from Hoi Polloi. Again, when I worked from the company Epcot, these little Gudetamas that I got at Think Geek. Um, the Lucky Unlucky series of the Vinylmations little keychains. The only one I wanted was the um, Maneki Neko, and it was the one I got. The first one I bought. So I'm, I feel like I'm a little lucky when it comes to blind boxes. That's probably why I'm so addicted to them. Um, I also got little... Cactus Pup with his little sausage. I love the sausage because it has his face on it. And I don't know if it'll actually let me show it to you. But yeah, you can see it's a cute little face. Little puppy comes with sausage. It's from Galaxy Angel. I had other figures. Don't know what happened to them. Don't know where they are. Uh, this little bear also was when I worked at... I think this is when I worked at Hobby Spot. This was just a little thing that was hanging out there. This Bubbles I've actually had since high school. And it still works. I have never replaced these batteries. It just still works. And so she lives right here for now until I might hang her somewhere. Maybe from under my shelf above my computer desk. Um, but for right now she lives with all the other cute stuff. This Paul Frank was a McDonald's toy I think. Um, these Momijis I got when I worked at Pop Gallery. I would buy the broken ones. For super cheap and then I would just repair them because I I will buy broken things and fix them all day long I don't understand people who are like oh I want it brand new like I get it but at the same time it's like but you could save money if you do the broken one and just fix it um, this little Karomi actually came on a bag a little handbag that I got but her she fell off so I just saved her I love her little tail She's so cute. Um, Mochi from uh, Big Hero 6. I had the Baymax, but I gave him to my friend's son. Um, and But Mochi was the real reason I bought the action figure. <laughs> I've got the Kaiju Ice Bat, which I also got from Pop Gallery. This money came from my friend Alicia. She got me a money blind box. Blind boxes are great gifts for me. Because even if I get something I don't want, I love the excitement of a blind box. Um, this taxi one is super cute though. I like that he has a little license plate. Um, again, this kid robot money she got me when she was in Chicago. I've got all these Game of Thrones mystery minis. Um, Jon Snow. I didn't purposely put Jon Snow next to Danny. It's just the dragons and the wolves are short enough to be in front of the sensor. I hate that. They are, it's lazy writing. Oh, two attractive people. Let's put them together. Uh, yeah, no, I hate it. It drives me nuts. I might actually separate them on my shelf just because I hate it so much. Um, funny story about the wolf, or the, sorry, the ghost figure. I got all these guys trying to get ghost and I could never get him and actually Kendall and Emily brought him in for me one day. They used to come into the hobby spot. And, um, they, yeah, they had an extra one, so they brought me Ghost. And I very much appreciate it. So he is right in the middle of everything. Number one, he doesn't block the sensor. Number two, he's my favorite. Um, this was the black cat mask I wore when I was her for Halloween last year. I want to remake it and make it a little more able to be attached to my face easier. Because since I didn't curve it enough, it kind of started peeling off towards the end of the night. I got this Mal Mystery Mini pointing his gun at Joffrey because Joffrey is the worst. Um, obviously got Starbuck and um, the Cylons. Got an extra Cylon the other day. My husband gave it to me so I could put him with my other Cylon. And now I kind of want an army of Cylons. So if you have Cylons you don't want, uh, send them my way. I got this Mach 5 from Speed Racer. This was a Burger King toy. And I've had this for I don't know how many years. 2008. 
so nine years I've had this but I love it I love that the little blades come out I love it's oh and it is one of those if you pull it back it does its thing uh, my sister got me this little Daniel Bryan bobblehead so he lives there um, Doc Brown obviously inspiration for Rick so I put my little summer right next to him I was actually surprised at the detail of the summer there's actually stuff on her phone she's actually looking at things on her phone I don't think you can read it I definitely can't read it because I'm blind but um, I also got this Doc Brown from a loot crate um, he was an exclusive but I did take him out of the box because I had this fun little hoverboard and I kind of wanted them to be together Especially with my TARDIS. Um, that TARDIS I got at Barnes & Noble and it was originally like 20 bucks or something and I think I got it for five bucks because the batteries ran out of the little light up here. It's actually a cookie jar. Um, I tried replacing the batteries but it didn't work. I don't really care because I just wanted the TARDIS to begin with. Um, I also have this Cactus Kitty from Pop Gallery. This is Karina. I've had her for several years now. I started in on the Kantai collection, which is personified versions of Japanese warships. I know that sounds really weird, but I love them. I think they are so adorable. This is the day off version. Um, now I can't remember the character's name to save my life. Um, this is Katori. Uh, I love the fact that the bow of the ship is actually the toes of her shoes. I think that is so cute. And this is the teaching version of her. And I love her little admiral outfit. This was a picture me and my husband did at Kings Island when I took him there. Um, yeah, we pose with money because we like robbing banks. No, I don't know. Um, yeah, we just wanted to do gangsters. We did. We decided that was more our style, and then we put our wedding date on there, January sixth. Okay, moving on. I actually have a stand for my games. I don't have a ton of games. I trade in ones I don't want to keep. And then also, I don't get to play as often as I would like. I have some DVDs here. Um, I used to have more. Uh, and a stack of CDs that I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with. Moving on. Oh, and a little Think Geek monkey. They, they had another thing that they were giving out. If you spend a certain amount, you get something free. Um, they ran out of it. But I'm kind of glad because I like the monkey better than whatever it was that they had before. Moving on. Sorry for the jitteriness. I'm holding this with one hand and then pointing stuff out with the other hand and then talking at the same time. It's a lot more energy than I thought it was going to be. This Nosferatu I got at Pop Gallery. He's called something else. I don't know. I saw it as Nosferatu and I had to buy him. But he falls over all the time and it drives me insane. But that's why I try to lean him against this. This I got at Walgreens, I think, Halloween several years ago. And I keep it a little candle votive. Um, I got this at the Hobby Spot. Don't know what it's from. If you know what this is from, please tell me. Because these little ghosts glow in the dark. The reason I bought this is, number one, I love ghosts and hauntings and stuff. I think it's super cool. But also, this little goat has a, a ghost has a butt. It's got little butt cheeks. It's so cute. But yeah, if you know what this is from, please let me know. Someone brought it in in trade, and I just... It was one of those weird things I had to have. This was a gift from an ex. and just lives with all the other skulls. Um, I've got my Edward Scissorhands little mystery mini um, Elvira Funko Pop. I love the Elvira Funko Pop because she's got the detailed little lips. Little shiny lips, which is cute. And the makeup. I, I just really love it. And the ring, this knife, just everything. She's so cute. That was actually a gift from my brother-in-law also. I've got Baby from Supernatural. This came out of a loot crate, but it's perfect for me because I love Supernatural. I think this is another one that... Nope. It just rolls. Um, Cthulhu. Little mystery mini for the sci-fi... It was the sci-fi sci or horror I can't remember one of those and then um, my little Freddy Krueger he was one of the and that's what happens to me sometimes 
he was one of the first Funko Pops that I got, one of the first few, um, because I love Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, the Swamp Thing is actually an exclusive. He's a PX Previews exclusive. He's flocked, so he's fuzzy. Me and my husband found him at MegaCon. Uh, he was on sale because his box is a little damaged in the back, but whatever. He looks cool. I'm excited to have him. Um, this painting is by Mike Choi, one of my favorite comic book artists. I actually had the pleasure of being acquainted with him. Super nice guy. He's been doing a lot more painting now, too, and he just keeps getting better and better. So definitely check his stuff out. Mike Choi, I think he's on Instagram. No, he's definitely on Instagram, and he's on uh, Facebook, but I, I don't think he's on Twitter. But uh, he's coming out with some great stuff. But once I saw this green skull, I kind of really had to have it. And it was inexpensive, and I wasn't expecting for it to come in this beautiful frame. But it did, and super excited. He also sent me a um, an art book, like a, a paperback art book, which was cool, and a skull sketch, which actually lives in the art book. So definitely recommend if you're going to buy something from him. Definitely do it, because he's awesome. This is my 2 terabyte Gears of War edition uh, Xbox One S. I actually waited for the for this one to come out because it looks super awesome. Uh, the detail on this thing is super cool. This is actually carved out. And so are the um, notches on the directional pad down there. It's carved out. Same thing with uh, the Xbox One S itself. It's got this battle damage here that's all carved out. It makes noises. Um, if I, hold on. So, I really love it. Um, those are the sounds when you turn it on and off. Um, also the disc makes the other sound, but I don't think I have a disc in there right now. Um, I definitely recommend it if you want to get one, if you can find one, the two terabyte. Uh, Xbox One S Gears of War Edition is super awesome. My Xbox 360, which I surprisingly still use um, occasionally. Uh, there are some games that still aren't uh, compatible with the Xbox One S. They're, they're trying, but also I have the Kinect for the 360. So if I have Kinect games that I want to play, I have to do it on the 360. So I keep this one around. My mom got me this. This is for the arcade edition. In, or arcade edition. And then I bought a hard drive for it. I've had this thing for, I want to say eight, eight years and no red ring of death. So it's been a beast and I love it. The only thing, um, I, I like playing with wired controllers because I don't like dealing with batteries. So this kind of got stuck that way. It doesn't, the spring is dead. Moving on. This is kind of a hodgepodge of uh, Batman and Catwoman. Uh, some of my favorites from the DCU, or not the DC Cinematic Universe, just the DC Universe. This was a gift from my husband, Catwoman Bust. I'll pull her out here so you can see her a little better. She actually has a cool face. As I mentioned before, if the face isn't right, I'm gonna be happy, or I'm not gonna be happy. And he knows that, so he pays attention to those things when he's looking at stuff for me. This was another gift um, I believe from my friend Mike. I had the pleasure of getting it signed by Adam Hughes himself. Super nice guy. His wife is super chill too. Um, I just, I love the detail of this little bust. It's not very big, but she is super pretty. Again, the face. Iconic Adam Hughes face. And then, yeah, she's a little cheeky putting the diamond in her cleavage. Um, these were mystery minis. I don't like Power Girl. If anybody wants this Power Girl, she is yours. Um, my husband got me this Q-Fig of Catwoman with the three kitties. If it was four kitties, it would, it would actually match our household. But it's super cute. Uh, this Batman Q-Fig I got from a loot crate. And I think, I don't know if that's why my husband got me the Catwoman. But it works because I got these. Um, these are bags that are made out of comic book covers, which an old boss got me for Christmas. Um, I've got a Catwoman and I've got a Detective Comics with Batman on it. So I kind of do the Batman and Catwoman theme together. Um, this is the White Lantern Batman from Little Mystery Box. 
and he was 1 in 72. He was one of the rare ones, so I was excited to get him. This is a newer edition. I already posted a video of her. Um, this is a little Hula Harley. I've been looking at her for a long time, and GameStop only had one left, so I had to get her. Super adorable. Once I get some acrylic shelving together, she'll move down to this shelf where all my Harleys are. Um, I got her on sale at Hot Topic. Um, I think she, I think she was like fifty. I don't I don't remember if she was fifty percent off ever, or if I had enough Hot Topic dollars to make her fifty percent off. But I know I paid half price for her. This one was a gift from my husband for Valentine's Day. I love it. It's a PVC figure. As you can see, she spray painted stinks on the bat signal and she's standing on it. She's got the black spray paint in her hand. I got the Joker back there from a loot crate. Same thing with the imposter Joker back there, um, also from a loot crate. Uh, this, I believe, was a gift from my brother in law, also. Um, it was Harley Funko Pop. And then I got a little, she was from a blind box as well. This Harley bust I got for 50% off at Gods and Monsters when they were moving and they were having a big sale. She was on the table, so I was like, um, is she included? And they're like, oh yeah, I just put her out there, so got her 50% off. This was actually a gift from April from Anime Orlando. She had it. She was like, oh, you like classic Harley? I've got the perfect thing for you. So she gave me that. I love the fact that it has the hyena too. I've been looking at that um, tweeter head with the two hyena hyenas. Um, I might actually get that. Um, it's not super expensive. And um, that's one of the things I love about Harley is her hyenas. Um, my mom got me these little cutie Hallmark stuffed beanies. Um, what are they called? Itty bitties? Yeah, itty bitties. She got me these for Christmas. I think it was a stocking stuffer. Um, and I love because it's like the animated series. Catwoman and Batman. So they live here. Again, they're smaller. The dog hasn't messed with them. But I don't want to put them on the sofa. Just in case. Um, my neighbor gave me this Kotobukiya. Batman and Catwoman. It broke at one point. So I have reassembled it. Um, there are some things I still want to fix on it. But I really like it. I also had this. This was actually Mr. Bigglesworth from a Austin Powers toy. I actually have a hairless cat. So I decided that Mr. Bigglesworth lives up here creeping on Batman and Catwoman. This cat mask. Actually, let me pull this out of here because you can't really see it. This cat mask is actually a luchador mask. That my husband got me when we went on our cruise uh, to Mexico. Um, they had this and I was like, oh my god, it is a cat luchador mask. And so I do wear it occasionally. It's been a while. Oh, I found this. This must have fallen. So I think one of my cats has made off with one of the toys before. Another cactus pup. But yeah, luchador mask. Get situated here. I'll probably edit that. You guys don't need me to see me putting stuff back together. Okay, moving on. Um, just a few little things, sci-fi things, um, Space Invaders, little figure. Um, this actually came from the Aliens Loot Crate. Um, he's in the box. One, because he's an exclusive. I might put him on display if I get more shelving. Uh, Lilu Dallas Multipass. Uh, same thing with this Corbin's Alley. Looks like an old Nintendo cartridge. Fifth Element. That was from a loot crate. Um, my husband got me this Gigantor. Uh, it was a pop I had been looking at for a while, and I think we found him at a convention, so he got me that one. Uh, this little robot, I am really sad. He does not wind up anymore. Sorry. He used to hula. And it would go around, but he doesn't wind up anymore. He got broken when I moved, which is unfortunate. I got my Planet Express little miniature figure there. Um, Futurama is one of my favorite shows, um, so I was excited to get that in a loot crate. Um, got Robot from Lost in Space. They had him on sale I, either at GameStop or ThinkGeek. I can't remember which one, but he was super cheap. But I do like 
He's actually pretty detailed for a cheap little figure that was on clearance. Like even his head and everything. I dropped him. Even his head and everything. Super detailed. And he's just a PVC figure. So I was pretty excited for him. And then I've got Bear Guy, which I actually picked up from the hobby spot. Also, someone came in and traded him in, already built. And I just, I like that I can make different expressions and stuff and pose them differently. I have a little petite bear guy that I'm going to be building, but, oh, his hand just fell off. See, this is what happens when I have everything set up and then I start moving it around. Stuff starts falling apart. Moving on. This is my Star Wars cubby. Um, I wish I could actually turn the flash on, but I don't think I can. I just got a few things in here. I'm actually embarrassed by my lack of Star Wars. Star Wars is one of my favorite things and I could answer almost every trivia question you could throw at me. However, I don't have a lot of Star Wars collectibles, which is weird. Um, I've got some challenge coins. My friend Mike is in the 501st, so I've got some cool cha ah, challenge coins that he got me. He got me this breast cancer awareness one, which I really appreciate. Um, my mom, I think, got me this it's in Japanese. This is a Japanese Star Wars book. I can't read it, but I think it's really cool. I like the cover art. So that lives over here. Um, we went to Star Wars Weekends uh, when they relaunched Star Tours. And I got my name in the writing with the... I picked Bespin. I like Cloud City. Everybody, you know. Everybody hates Lando. I love Lando. So um, a patch I got from one of the Georgia Garrison guys... Um, my friend Mike, different Mike, was in a Star Wars trading card competition at Megacon back in like 2004, and he won, and he got two of these, and so he gave me one, uh, for giving him a ride up there, Amy Allen, Isla Sakura, sexy lady. Uh, I got a couple of Star Wars vinyl mations, not a whole lot, Boba Fett. This is my very first Funko Pop, Boba Fett, bobblehead. I'll pull them out here. So the, the pop that started it all, really I blame the Garrus one because the Garrus one was the first one that I bought myself. Um, but yeah, no, I love, actually he has, he does have a lot of detail and, um, I prefer the, bo I prefer the Funko Pops that are not bobbleheads. But that's just personal preference. Because um, sometimes the springs give out and then they look weird. And, you know, if you collect them, you understand my plight. And I keep knocking stuff over. Ugh, so I'm going to have to replace him. I got the white armor Boba Fett. You can't really see him. I'm not going to pull him out because I keep dropping things. Um, Kit Fisto, again, one of my... Favorite men, Han Solo, Luke Crate, Snow Gear from uh, I forget which Luke Crate it was, but it was from Force Awakens. Um, I was excited to get him. I got my Phasma Funko Pop. This little Phasma, her gun is kind of bent. I got her in a Kinder Egg from Toys R Us. The thing that frustrates me though is that the Kinder Eggs from Toys R Us aren't actually kinder eggs at least the star wars ones aren't the star this is in a little capsule and then that the hollow egg is wrapped separately and they're both put inside a box so the toy isn't inside the egg and it's like if you're just gonna do that just give me a piece of chocolate like just if you're gonna put it in a capsule separate from the egg itself just give me a piece of chocolate either way i was excited to get captain phasma i'm excited to see her in the next movie too and then I've got an actual Phasma bobblehead. And then my friend Mike got me this um, Asajj Ventress Mighty Mugs. It's the only Mighty Mugs I have. I, I didn't end up collecting these. But the Ventress one does look really cool. So I'm going to move on to the next section. Okay, my friends. I'm going to try to zoom through this. I know we're already an hour in. But I told you it was going to be long. And... I want to make sure I kind of go over each piece and who did it. Um, this piece I got from Eric Jones at Megacon a few years ago. I went to get a different piece from him, but I opened up his binder and this one was there. It's called Voyage and I needed it in my life. 
This piece is done by Michael Banks. He also goes by Sugar Fueled. This was given to me by one of my friends. Um, we did a show for him at Pop Gallery and he had a similar piece, but it sold before I could buy it. So she had it commissioned and it's a little bit different from the original, but I appreciate that. But it still has the boy and the girl zombie and a little cupcake. This piece was a birthday gift for my friend Alicia. Before she got married, she was Alicia Wigerzeski, and now she's Alicia Kimberling. Um, she does do some shows around Orlando. Um, so if you guys are at an art show and you see some creepy, beautiful trees, that was probably my friend Alicia. Um, this piece has a lot of texture, and this was a birthday gift. I don't know if I mentioned that before. And it's only 8x10, but there she packed a lot of texture and contrast in there, and I really love it. This piece is a redux of the Max cover from several years ago. I've actually had this since high school, which high school was 14 years ago. And my friend Cody Cook did this in ink. And so he did different colored inks and everything. And it turned out really beautiful. So I try to make sure to have that out wherever I move and have a new art wall. It's usually up there. This was a commission from Micah Gunnell. He, you probably know his work from Aspen Comics. He did Shrugged and a few other things, but I really love this. I commissioned this Aspen in her black armor. The fact that he did it on like a dark purple paper and then did all these lighting effects, it came out really, really good. My friend Danny picked this up for me at a convention and shipped it over and she is fantastic. Definitely check out Micah Gunnell on um, his DeviantArt because he has some really great stuff. He does a lot of really dynamic illustrations. This piece, which, sorry for the glare. I don't have the greatest lighting in here. This piece was a commission I got from Talent Caldwell, who did, um, you probably know his work from Fathom, Dawn of War, and um, a few other things. I absolutely love this piece. I basically told him I want Aspen, Vana, Ice, Sexy Go, and he delivered for sure. I love the detail in the background and just his line work is beautiful. And I like his faces. They're very expressive and he does draw some sexy ladies. This was given to me by a friend before I met anybody in the Aspen crew. He actually got a piece of paper, had them all sign it at a convention and then gave it to me framed. So I try to have that above my art desk. A little inspiration, all these super talented, crazy people. And then my pride and joy is this original Michael Turner art from Soulfire number six. It's the first page. I love the detail of the Sakura the Japanese lanterns, and then all the action going on at the bottom with PJ and Benoit. Actually, you know what? I have never confirmed whether it's Benoit or Benoist. I want to say it's Benoit. That's what I've always said, but um, I never confirmed it with those guys, so I will have to do that. But the amount of detail in the pencil lines is phenomenal. I definitely need more Michael Turners in my life, but I also need a bigger bank account before I do that. But this was my very first one. Up above this is an original piece by Mike Choi, another comic book artist. He, I was exposed to his art for X23, and then my friend Mike got this commission for me for my birthday. Um, Mike is also checks on the Aspen boards. Um, this is a gorgeous piece and it's hold, it's held up. I mean, I got this back in, I think, I want to say it was like 2007 or 2008, but the amount of detail and ink and white, it, like the way he used white out or white paint, I don't know exactly what he used, but it ended up pretty fantastic. Her face is gorgeous. Um, again, he uses that level of detail in his paintings now and he's even surpassed anything I could have imagined. I mean, check out Mike Choi's art. Like I said, he's on Instagram. Definitely check it out. Um, this next piece, this was done by my friend Edward Simon. Um, he gave me this 
when I visited New Orleans. Unfortunately, the frame broke in shipping, not the frame, but the glass. I haven't been able to replace it yet, but I don't want to uncover it because I like the frame that it's in. But I like the, even though, it, you know, it's like the eyes are sunken in and everything, it just, to me, it's very expressive. And I was happy to, to receive this print and he even signed it, signed it for me. This is the first Terribly Odd original I had, um, Medusa. I love this. I love the stripes in the background. I don't know if you can see them on the video, but the texture of the piece is really cool, even though it's all two-dimensional. I love just the, the little tears to kind of make it look more distressed. And it's on wood paneling, which is really cool. So no need to frame. But this was a piece I fell in love with and I was so happy to get it. And it's always out and about, especially around my creative spaces because it's very inspiring to me. This is another print. Uh, this was John Pinto, I believe. He does a lot of conventions around Orlando. I don't know if he goes all over the country. I really mostly just stick to Central Florida. Um, I got this at Spooky Empire. A couple years ago and I really like the juxtaposition of Spider-Man over the Daily Bugle and it has Gwen Stacy which is my OTP for Spider-Man even though it's talking about her dying. <laughs> um, this was Matthew Sutton I believe at MegaCon this past year. It's just a little card. I want to get a little frame for it so right now it lives here but I just I like the the angle that he did it at and the color usage. Alright, so just a quick look at my art desk. This is my craft, my art, my drawing, painting table. Right now I have a few projects on it I want to finish in a couple of weeks. Like I said, I have a petite guy that I want to do to go with my other bear guy. Um, this was a prototype for the Mjolnir my husband had for our wedding. Um, my friend Derek actually designed these. He's with uh, Calabru 8. So it's collab, brew, like tea or coffee or beer, eight. And you can find them on Instagram. Um, I believe they have a Facebook. They also have collabbrew8.com. Um, I'm going to paint this one for him. And actually, I think I think I should be able to finish that this weekend. So I want to keep it out so I don't forget. This is my Eta bag I was telling you guys about before. Um, I have all my pins in here currently. And I'm, I'm starting to add the buttons. I have a trigun button and this Roger Rabbit button that I got at the Hobby Spot when I worked there. A lot of these pins I've had for years. My mom actually travels. And every time she goes to a hard rock, she gets me another pin. So I actually have a place to display them proudly because I love them. I love this Niagara Falls one because the little barrel goes back and forth. The newer things on here are actually I have a JoJo with a little star platinum and he is super cute. He was a new arrival at Anime Orlando. And then when Anime Orlando was having their anniversary sale, I stocked up on some JJ. These were blind, or sorry, I said JJ, I meant Yuri on Ice. These were some blind box um, keychains. So I got Minami and this one's really cute because when it hangs up, it, it spins. Like he's ice skating and so they actually animated his back too which is super cute um jj is actually my favorite character from yuri on ice he didn't start out being my favorite character but quickly became my favorite character and then i got this little yuri and he's so cute and then obviously my wings of freedom and i've got this little hello kitty taking a bath and oh, some other stuff oh yeah another maneki neko I love Maneki Nekos. Um, and then I have this little gold, Sanrio goldfish. And then also this little Hello Kitty is a squid. And I've had her for ages and just didn't have anywhere to put her. So I'm putting her on this bag. So I might make another Ito, Ita bag. Um, it's probably going to be Roger Rabbit themed. So I'll take these ones off of there. But I don't know yet. That's a, another project for another time. Um, the foam head is actually for 
me and my husband's Halloween costumes. He's going to be Shadowland Daredevil and I'm going to be Hellcat. And Cosplay for Christ has a really great tutorial for making cowls out of Halloween masks like this that are already kind of formed. I'm going to cut off the sides for mine and Robert's um, for the Daredevil. I'll cut the ears off to smooth it out for the horns and then also since I'm Hellcat um, she does, she has ears, but I'm going to make those out of probably craft foam. Oh, and my, my con badge holder is Street Fighter. I like it a lot because it has the, the fight. And I have a little Gudetama in a frying pan. Um, these are just some prints I need to frame up. I got this from my friend Johnny Cock. Uh, it's K-O-K. -K. Look him up. He is on Instagram. And he has some really cool, he does uh, ink and ink washes, and then he colors them. He's at a lot of conventions, so just look up Johnny Cock Illustrations, K-O-K, -K, and you will see some really awesome stuff. He was nice enough to give this to me at last MegaCon. Um, got a sexy Ryu that needs to be, this is by a, lo a local artist named Humphrey. He does a lot of conventions around, too. I, w I did... Marceline. I cosplayed Marceline at the last MegaCon and he actually had this cool Marceline piece so I just need to get a frame for that. And then I unfortunately cannot remember the name of this artist but I love that it's a JoJo's Rocky Horror Picture Show mashup. I love Frankenfurter. I love Rocky. I love JoJo's. This was perfect for me. Um, just under here is just my art supplies. Uh, I try to keep them next to the desk. My sewing machine usually is where this little drawer area is but I decided just to put it in my closet for now and then a cat toy because I have four cats. Moving on we'll start with the desk area. Oh the championship belt actually was an anniversary present from my husband and that is because I got him an anniversary present um or it was our dating anniversary. I got him an anniversary present and he did not get me one so when we were at Walmart I saw this and I was like, oh, I want this. And he's like, do you want that to be your anniversary present? And it was my anniversary present. So I have a championship belt, undisputed. Um, above my computer desk, I have this I got from Katmandu on Park Avenue. Um, Katmandu has a lot of um, just international imports. Uh, this was carved in Bali, I believe, but I love the fact that he has little arms that swing back and forth. This guy we got in Jamaica during our honeymoon. They actually had the wood carvers there at Sandals, and um, I just really needed it because I need all the skeletons. Um, this is another terribly odd piece. It's a little mini piece, Lamort, the death card, death tarot card. Um, he's on just a little wood brick. And I thought this was a really cute place to put them. I am going to put some art above. I just haven't decided what's going to go up there yet. Um, I'll breeze through this because a lot of these are just mystery minis. Um, obviously, I have the Smaug Funko Pop. I'm a little annoyed that his little damaged scale is on the wrong side. But what can you do? Again, some mystery minis. Different Heroes of the Storm. My little cute but deadly Murloc. He's so cute. My Deathwing Funko Pop. I just got this Goldan out of the Warcraft movie mystery boxes and um, he was only three bucks at Barnes and Noble like they're doing a lot of the clearance of their figures right now so I got him for three bucks and all I wanted was the Goldan and I got the Goldan. Uh, Sylvanas was a gift from my friends um, for my birthday two years ago I believe and she is my lady love so she is living with all my other wow stuff. Um, this was from Loot Crate, my little vault, pit boy, vault, oh my god, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Another Fallout figure, um, we actually got the Nuka-Cola Quantum at the Fallout New Year's Eve party at Cloak and Blaster here in Orlando. And that was a lot of fun, so I kept the bottle to go with my other Fallout figures. Um, this little thing I got from a bridal show. They were giving out free ones to kind of sell their 
uh, wire forming. It's really pretty. I just, I did not want to pay to have 80 of those made for my tables. Um, I actually got this Whiptail Scorpion at Carmine Boutique here in Orlando. Um, I definitely recommend checking them out. It's a small antiques oddities shop. They have a lot of taxidermy and some really cool things. A lot of different bugs in the resin. I might go back and get some more. They also had some uh, comparative heart with like smaller like lizard and different hearts. I might get that too. But yeah, this was this was 12 bucks for a whiptail scorpion. Pretty decent size. So I was a big fan of that. I got this Hellboy at Pop Gallery. I got this little portal turret with the military print, um, camo print at Hobby Spot when I worked there. We started carrying the portal mystery boxes. And then Flame Princess I got for 50% off at Gods and Monsters when they were having their clearance sale when they were moving. So moving on down the line, I promise this is almost done. Um, these are some mini prints from Terribly Odd. This is the Ghost of Christmas. I have not framed them yet because there are several prints in here. Really awesome. Tells the story of A Christmas Carol. Um, but I really like the box too. So that's living there. This portal turret actually does function. Um, I posted a video earlier on my Instagram of it working. It's motion sensor. I just don't have it plugged in right now because the cable is quite not long enough. So I also have this little, this was from the blind boxes also from the hobby spot. Hobby spot's called Hudson's Comics. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but yeah, Hudson's Comics. And they also have some video game stores also around Orlando. Um, I just got this. This is a $3 um, Christmas ornament for our Christmas tree later this year. Um, Christmas stuff is already out and it's not even Halloween yet. But it was Triforce. It was a couple bucks, so I picked it up. Moving on. Now, this is just my phone. I put a little Tokyo Ghoul Kaneki sticker on the case because I didn't have a decorative case for my phone. Um, oh, this is my... <laughs> I got this Halloween a couple years ago. Werewolf drinking team. Beer koozie. Um, big fan of that use that every time. Uh, this is from the hangar bar. Oops, it's upside down. The hangar bar in downtown Disney. I definitely, or sorry, it's called Disney Springs now. They keep renaming everything. But uh, we went there a couple weeks after it opened and they had these Club Obi-Wan coasters. So I always use the back of it because I want to keep the front nice. Um, I also have these Tokidoki coasters that are really cute. This is a legit antique canned Florida Sunshine, um, 1966. This was from my mom's friend, Ruth, who had those epic yard sales, I believe I mentioned before. She had this, and I thought that was really great because I love Florida. And so this just lives on my desk. And this is a new addition, the Soldier 76. He is from the Cute But Deadly series. Um... This is a funny story. Sorry, I just knocked my computer on. My friend, my friend Caitlin, she worked at the other company. I worked at CuffLinksDepot.com, and she worked at the other company, License Plates and Frames. And the first year I worked there, we did Valentine's Day, like secret admirer Valentine's Day. And she gave this to my coworker when it has her face in it. And when my coworker left. Uh, it just kind of lived in the office, and so when I left, I absconded with it. But yeah, she's always, she's always with me at my computer desk. I just got a One Punch Man button here. Uh, this is my favorite Jessica Rabbit pin from Disney. Um, I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. That lives over here until I'm. I'm gonna get a little frame from that. My friend Corey Harrison, um, Grand Artifice. Uh, he he does a lot of big costumes. He actually gave me the idea, if you get little mini frames, to put the pins in there and then they're like on display. And that, I don't know why I never thought of that, but I'm super excited to put her in a little frame because she's always on my desk. This was from Loot Crate, but I love it because it's a little hearthstone, little stress ball, and I use it actually pretty frequently. 
Uh, when Movie Stop was going out of business, they had this on super sale. Batman animated series is my favorite Batman adaptation. And this is actually a bank. I haven't put any money in it or anything. The slot is above the little jet there. Um, but I like because it kind of covers my wires and keeps me from putting anything else in front of my keyboard. Um, this is a just a for reference only office stamp my husband brought home for me from the Kennedy Space Center when someone was cleaning out their office. He's like, oh, Claudia might like that. And I do because I'm weird. Uh, Tomb Raider belt buckle. It's a little large for cosplay. Honestly, I got this on eBay. It was really shiny, so I aged it a little bit. I might still use it when I build my belt and holsters, but I might try to find an official one because this one is a lot bigger than it probably should be. My little Pikachu top, I keep him on my desk and I keep my little robot on my desk because I like to play with things. I always have a folding fan on my desk because this is the hottest room in the house. Obviously Mass Effect being my favorite thing. They're also on my dual monitor setup there. Um, little Hello Kitty Book of Happiness along with my shook or I believe it's Chojo or Chogokin Hello Kitty. She's a little mech and her little cockpit opens up. You can put the Hello Kitty in there. Um, she's posable. Her little hands shoot off. Absolutely love this. This was a gift for my friend Heather Powell. Um, I might get the black version too and then I'd have it on each side of the desk but this is super cute. I saw it. You can also change her eyes. I can't even remember where. There's a button somewhere where you can change her eyes to different things and um, oh I remember where. Hold on. Hold please. So this little Hello Kitty button on the inside you can change her eyes pattern so she's a little angry and then back to black so sorry I could play with this thing all day it's hard to do it one-handed um, drill bunny I got from the hobby spot also uh, someone just brought him in with a, a bunch of toys and it was one of those things that I needed in my life that makes no sense to me but he was super cute and then along with that bunny I got this little gimp bunny from Movie Stop when it was going out of sale all, or going out of business also. And he's got a little butt. So I definitely needed him in my life. I don't know why. Just one of those cute things I needed. Um, Soulfire cup I got from Aspen Bundle. Also with my Aspen Money um, discount. Little Sailor Jupiter pen that I got at Think Geek. And then my fathom pen. And then there's some stickers in here too. So that lives on my desk. And then this beer koozie my husband got me. He got it as a gift at the one of his Christmas parties I think. It's actually signed by one of the Giants players. But the reason I like this beer koozie is that it has a bottle opener on it. Which is super baller. So that is my desk. Not a lot to share but it's it's where I do all my online gaming which I'm behind on but I like I love my keyboard it is I like it's the blue switches um and then this mouse I actually got a really good price on it's I think it was like an $80 mouse and I think I got it for 40 bucks at Best Buy um to the sofa this is the last part and then we will be completely done with the nerd cave um, we have Sabraham Lincoln that I did at Build-A-Bear at the T-Rex restaurant with my husband before we got married. Um, he has little hipster glasses and his little popcorn dinosaur t-shirt. But yes, we named him Sabraham Lincoln. Well, actually my husband named him Sabraham Lincoln. Uh, this was a gift from an ex of mine, uh, Takashi, when he lived out in Los Angeles. Um, I like because she has the little Hollywood. She is the little marker. Um, this bat Hello Kitty I got at Pop Gallery. Um, she came out around Halloween and she is one of my favorites. Pig costume Hello Kitty I got at Tampa Bay Comic Con. 
my mom got me this little Hello Kitty with the lollipop. This was by Rooster Pop. I got this at MegaCon this past year. I'm a big Legend fan, and the Darkness is one of my favorite characters. I guess he's just called Darkness. Um, but Tim Curry is the best villain. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Tim Curry is the best villain, and I loved this. It's just so cute. So cute. Um, I told my husband to bring me home something one day when he was out with his brother, so he bought me this little purple bunny um this was just a little keychain thing i can't even remember where i got this my cousin jeremy got this for me when we went to the tampa aquarium um this was another one i got at pop gallery little halloween devil costume hello kitty and then my husband got me this at universal i believe um she has the same cat eye glasses that i do hers are purple mine are blue but i was very happy to receive her he also, I was having a bad day one day, and he works out at Kennedy Space Center, as I mentioned before, and he brought me one of the Space Hello Kitties, um, which cheered me up a lot because she's super cute. And then this, my friend, my friend Fraser won out of a claw machine, and I've had it ever since. It used to live in my car, but I didn't want it to get sun bleached, so he lives on the sofa as well. The Targaryen and Stark pillows I got online. It was one of those shady Chinese places that was like, oh, free shipping. Or I can't even remember if it was free shipping or what it was. They were just the pillowcases. But I actually ended up liking them a lot because they're a really thick material. Um, these were little $2 or actually $1.50 pillows from Target. I like the little pom-poms on this one. And then the rainbow print, of course. This is just from Ikea. You guys have probably seen this. If you've been in Ikea in the kids section, I saw it and it was one of those things that I needed. So my husband got it for me. And then this is actually one of the newest additions to my nerd cave. We made our first trip to Spirit Halloween and they have a whole line of Ouija board stuff. So I got Ouija board socks. I got Ouija board breath mints. We got a Ouija board... Um, little welcome mat for our front door and th this pillow so I will be adding more pillows I like to have a lot of pillows on the couch so when we're all hanging out in here playing video games um, everybody has something to kind of get comfortable with because this is not the most comfortable couch so having some stuff on your back is really cool and that is the end of it we have covered everything sorry that bag wasn't there earlier that is a bunch of buying boxes that I will be opening um, they had some on sale at Walgreens, but I hope you guys enjoyed the look at my office. Um, oh, this piece, sorry. This is actually one of my projects for today. Uh, no, another terribly odd. This is Lando Calrissian and Cloud City. I just need to put the brackets on the back, so I'm going to try to do that today. This is going to go above our couch, so that's another original. I got this from him several months ago, but just kept not getting the right brackets to put on there now i have the right ones and so he will live above our couch again i go i hope you guys enjoyed the look at my office if you want to see anything closer up if you want a better review of some of the toys or things that i have just let me know and i would be happy to do a more detailed video for you thanks for checking it out cheers you survived my very first youtube video i'm sorry the sound quality went in and out some of it was voiceover um, I have a ceiling fan running because it gets hot in here. The lighting isn't very good. We're going to try to address those issues going forward. If there was anything you saw in the video that you would more, like more details on, or if you want a, a full review, I'd be happy to do so for you. Um, again, this is the very first video on my channel. I'm planning to do blind box videos, reviews. I also want to do stuff out and about. There's a lot of great stuff in Orlando that I feel gets missed because people tend to focus on uh, Disney and Universal, which are great. They're super fun, but there's a lot to Orlando that I think a lot of people don't see. So I'm going to try to get those out for you guys. If you have any questions, like I said, comment below. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, and you can even email me, Gmail, or email me. Obey your Claudia at gmail.com. Um,